Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this video we are taking a look at a little asset in the asset store called Sci-Fi Barrel. Simplistic kind of asset, but let's get into it. So, overall, the quality of this is not too bad at all. I think that it's actually really textured quite nicely. And obviously, some care and effort always goes into these assets that we see on the asset store. So you have to keep in mind that not everything can be as high quality as something that is massively paid for. So obviously, cheaper assets usually are what you get pay, you know, you pay for that. But I think sometimes free assets can actually be a real treat. So quality, yeah, I am quite pleased with the quality of this asset. I think it would work quite well in any game that would describe itself as sci-fi. So yeah, if you're creating a sci-fi game and need a barrel, <laughs> there you go. It's as simple as that. Uh, quantity, we just get the barrel and then this one, which is a little bit more destroyed. And I think I like this one a little bit better. I know that all it's taken is just a little bit of modification on the texture, but I really like how it looks. So quality and quantity, I'd say both are good. Uh, extras, I'm not quite sure if you could count this as an extra because in all fairness, the asset store does say barrel, singular, and we do get two, so maybe you could count the other barrel as an extra, although it does have it in the image. So maybe not, but either way, I still think it's really decent. It does also come with a little post-processing profile there to attach on if you wanted to. Both are separate prefabs in some very neatly laid out folders. Always good to see. And obviously, I am in the demo scene. Always love a good demo scene. So how useful and how versatile are these barrels? Well, usefulness, I think they're going to be quite useful if you are creating that style of game. Um, I think in any sci-fi game, at least one of these will fit in quite well as just a little prop somewhere in a corner or maybe a big warehouse full of them or something like that. So one way or another, I can see these fitting into many, many different types of sci-fi games. So down to versatility, we could play around with this a little bit if we wanted to. I think it just depends what you want to do. You know, we've changed the color there to a red and obviously it doesn't quite stand out as well as it does in the yellow. But you could always just change a couple of things and make it green, you know, all that kind of thing. So it is versatile in that sense. Just be mindful of what you're doing to the barrel. You know, if we change the normal map way up high, that looks completely different than what it did originally. So we have created technically another type of barrel that we could use here. So versatility wise, I'd say, yeah, there's, there's probably quite a bit you can do to it. So how much is it? And how big is it? Well, it is free at the time of recording this little video. So just keep that in mind that prices do change all the time. And it is 28 meg. Now, I think 28 meg may be a little bit big given how much we get here. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're perhaps aiming for a mobile game here. 28 meg may be quite a lot. But either way, I still think it's pretty decent for what we get here. And overall, I, I do actually like these as assets. And I could probably see them being used in one of my own projects, to be fair. Because I think, I mean, I'm actually quite impressed with how that looks now. I know not everybody would be impressed with how that looks. But that's kind of cool how we've ended up creating that effect. So yeah, as I always say with these assets, don't just take them for what they are. Put your own little touch to it. Change things around and see what you can come up with. You might make them better for your style of game. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And yeah, I'd recommend this. I would recommend this. Um, even if you're not creating some kind of sci-fi game, you might be able to find a use for it somewhere, somehow. Um, but definitely if you've got some space shootery thing and there's this warehouse or whatever, yeah, I think these would do great as some props in that style of game. So, guys, have you used this asset yourself? If you have, let me know what you think of it, what you've used it for. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, let me know as well, because I'd love to check it out and review it in one of these little videos, because how else are people going to find out? The more people I expose to all these great assets in the asset store, the better for everybody involved, because then we all know where we can get some quality assets. Finally, click on that subscribe button. And click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload to my channel on video game development. Because there's always loads to see, loads to learn and loads to do. So guys, I will see you around in the next video. 
Thank you very much for watching.